Hi, I'm Andrea Cox with the HealthyHaven.net, and I wanted to show you what I do with my fruit that's that's ripened a little too much. These are sapotes. They have been in the refrigerator. They are extremely ripe. Definitely don't zoom in on this. Um, but they're sapotes. Sapotes are an amazingly sweet fruit. So my new friend Clementine the other day, I was asking her um, what I should do with my sapotes and she said, why don't you make a sapote pie? So I decided to make a sapote pie. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do for the crust first. I've actually got some medjool dates. And the 80-10 tenors, okay, see my, my cameraman does not know what an 80-10 tenor is, okay? So I'm gonna explain what an 80-10 tenor is. 80-10-10 is a book that was written by Douglas Graham and it's got a huge cult-like following and it means 80% fruit, 10% greens, 10% fat, got it? So Basically, um, a lot of 80-10 tenors, all they, you know, the majority of their food is fruit. So the 80-10 tenors are gonna love this. So here I'm gonna take some medjool dates, and I'm actually going to use, you know, I keep saying I'm not gonna walk away from the camera, and I'm about to walk away from the camera, so sorry. I'm gonna take my knife because these have been in the fridge, so they're really, really cold. And actually, I'm gonna use some cut it out that have not been in the fridge. That's why I needed a knife, because they were too cold. So I'm just gonna push these dates down into this bowl to kind of make a date crust. And when I put it in the freezer, it's gonna harden and you'll actually be able to cut into it. Now, if you're just a raw fooder and you're not an 80-10 tenner, um, you can put almonds and you can blend in a Cuisinart the dates and the almonds and it makes an unbelievable crust. And I would probably do that for myself. Um, I am not an 80-10 tenner. I'm more of a 70, 20 tenor is that 70 80 90 100 yeah that makes 100 cool proud of myself my mom is going to be so proud of me that i did that math equation yep now i'd say i was like i say i'm probably because i get this email all the time i am probably 65 to 70 percent fruit and then definitely 20 percent greens and I would say 10% fat. Although, I've been known to eat an entire 13 pound durian, which is full of fat, but you know, it's all good. It's raw food. I mean, you know, when you think about it, and I know we always wanna progress and progress, and I'm all about progressing, don't get me wrong. But when you think about it, we're so, you know, We've already, we're already eating a diet that's uh, better than 90% of the population that's eating the sad standard American diet. So when you think about it, you know, just be happy with yourself. Okay, so here I'm just going to take the sapotes, and sapotes have little seeds in them, and we really don't want to eat those seeds, although they're not poisonous like a cherimoya seed, they're still not optimal for us. So. I'm just going to mash the sapotes, yeah, with my fingers. You know, I'm making this for myself. So here's a big seed, so I'm just going to grab something to throw the seeds in. And just here's a smaller seed. They have a lot of small seeds. But you know, when you think about it, we spend so much money on our fruit. I mean, I got these from berry and clementine and i mean they have let's face it the best fruit if you live in california i mean they have the best fruit ever so we're mashing we're almost done 
um, I would say probably three sapotes for a little dish like this. You could do a big pie and take it to a potluck if you go to any raw food potlucks. So, and I'm only going to add two things. I would probably add a little bit of cinnamon. I'm going to do one more to be on the safe side. I would probably add a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of um, vanilla. I'm going to take a little bit of cinnamon, organic cinnamon, stabilizes your blood sugar. I'm going to mix that up some more and kind of really feel, make sure you've got, I mean, because they'll, you'll think you've got no seeds and then you'll have a seed. Ticks me off. So make sure you get all the seeds. I really like to mash it with a fork too. I forgot to mash it with a fork. But this looks pretty clean. So basically, I mean, this is really difficult. So prepare yourself. You take the sapote fruit and you pour it over the dates. You actually pour it over the date crust, like so. I mean, hello, on a, I mean, wouldn't this be great to just take to a potluck, like a bigger one? Yum, I'm all about it. And you know, if you're not an 80, 10, 10, or throw a big glob of coconut oil in there, or something like that. But this is all you do. And then I'm gonna stick this in the freezer. And while well, the magic of television, <laughs> I ate a quarter of one the other night. So that's what it looks like frozen, but it's amazing. That's vanilla bean on top. But it's just a really good way to eat up the fruit so it doesn't go bad. I'm Andrea Cox with TheHealthyHaven.net. Thank you so much for watching me and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and sign up for my form mailer on my newsletter on my website so I can send you tons of free videos and free tips. Bye-bye.